back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential equation. So we have x to the power of x to the power of 4 equals 64. So what I'm first going to do is I'm going to take the fourth power on both sides. So we have x to the power of x to the power of 4. Now to the power of 4 equals 64 to the power of 4. So remember uh, a property of exponents is that if we have something a to the power of m to the power of n, this can actually also be written as a to the power of m times n. So x to the power of x to the power of 4 to the power of 4, this can also be written as x to the power of x to the power of 4 times 4. And this equals 64 to the power of 4. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to rearrange this. I'm going to change this back into this form. However, now instead of saying x to the power of x to the power of 4 to the power of 4, I'm going to say x to the power of 4 to the power of x to the power of 4. And this is still equal to 64 to the power of 4. Now, 64 can actually be written as 8 squared. So 8 squared to the power of 4. And this is still equal to x to the power of 4 to the power of x to the power of 4. Now, remember this property. If we have a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 8 to the power of 2 to the power of 4, this is equal to 8 to the power of 2 times 4, which is equal to 8 to the power of 2 times 4 is 8. So now I'm going to write this all here, x to the power of 4 to the power of x to the power of 4 equals 8 to the power of 8. And if we actually have an equation in the form a to the power of a equals b to the power of b, this also means that a is equal to b. So right here, this equation is actually in the form a to the power of a equals b to the power of b. So a, in this case, x to the power of 4, equals b, 8. So now I'm going to write x to the power of 4 equals 8. So now we simply have a simple equation. So to cancel out this power, I'm going to take the root of 4 on both sides. So then these two cancel out, and I get x is equal to positive or negative 8 to the 4th root. So this is our answer. Guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential equation. So we have 2 to the power of 3 minus x equals 565. And what I want to do is I just want to get rid of the space and keep the exponent. So to do that, well, to cancel out an exponent, what we need to do is we need to take the inverse of the exponent. And the inverse of an exponent is a log. So if I take the log of base 
2 on both sides. So if I take the log of base 2 on both sides, then these two would actually cancel out because the log is the inverse of the exponent. So if I these two cancel out and on our left hand side, I would simply have three minus X. And on the right hand side, I would have log base two of 565. Now, if I subtract three on both sides, because I want to isolate X, these two cancel out, and on my left hand side, I would have negative x is equal to log base 2 of 565 minus 3. And now if I divide by negative 1 on both sides, so I could just get positive x. I would get x is equal to negative log base 2 of 565 plus 3. So this is our answer.